Hey guys! Welcome, Welcome back, back to The Perfect, Perfect Pair. Where we show you awesome hacks for mommy and like a badass. Today we're going to show you how to make this Mexican bowl dish in as little as 10 minutes. Yeah. And we use the rice that we prepared earlier in the week. So don't forget to stick to the end because we're going to show you some awesome citrus hacks. Awesome. Let's get started. Okay. Let's do it. So first what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make the beans. We take like a can of beans and I add some onion powder and garlic powder. So you didn't have to buy flavored beans. You're doing just regular beans. Yeah. Nice. We're doing it ourselves. We're mixing it up and I add a little bit of salt in there too. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to microwave these for like two minutes. Two minutes. I think. Okay. Yeah. And then they should be all like hot and ready to go. And okay. So while we're uh, microwaving the beans, now we're going to make the guacamole. And the guacamole for me is like super easy. It's just avocado and I just chop it up and I don't even mash it. You put some lime on it. I put lime, do a squeeze of lime. Awesome. And I don't even, I don't mash it. That's yeah. all I do for my guacamole. Oh, it's that's really, so simple. really simple. Yeah, and then all the other toppings. Um, what I do is I like to set it up like assembly line when it's dinner time. Okay. Because then the kids can pick whatever they want. So it's kind of like going to that one restaurant that everybody talks about that makes a really big burritos, mm -hmm. but at home and yeah. saving all kinds of money. Yeah, because my kids love that place. So oh, yeah, now yeah. we have it at home. Now we have it at home. So now I'm going to assemble mine, which is how I like to make it. Awesome. So I add my beans. It smells so good. I know. I'm really hungry. <laughs> and then I add a guacamole, like I like everything. So we put some guacamole on there, some tomato, some lettuce. I nice. like lettuce on mine and I do, I like sour cream. I have fat free sour cream, but I mean you can use whatever sour cream you want. Absolutely. And then of course the shredded cheese because I like cheese. My daughter uses the, the um, whole container. Daya. No, she oh, uses Daya. Daya. <laughs> so you can have whatever. You can have the, you know, vegan cheese. And, um, oh, and some salsa. I forgot a spoon. So, of course, we're going to put some salsa on there. Oh, that looks so good right Isn't now. Isn't that good? Absolutely. And there you go. Awesome. Yeah. Dinner served. Thanks for sticking around to the end for the awesome citrus hacks. Yeah, so here we have a container of lemons in water. That's crazy. And so what I do is I keep them like this in the refrigerator so that they stay nice and moist and they don't dry out and harden um, before I get a chance to use them. I love that idea. Because mine right? always are drying out. I know. my limes. And then the other trick is you take your lemon or lime and before you squeeze it, or if you're going to juice it, you roll it on the counter and apply pressure to it and you can feel it get softer. So that this way when you chop it up and you um, go to squeeze it, you get more juice out of it. Juicy lemon instead Absolutely. of or lime. You can also put your um, lemon or lime in the microwave for 10 seconds and that also works too. I have never tried that one. You'll I'm have to try, try it too. and see. Um, thanks time. for sticking around to the end. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you liked our video and click down below to subscribe so you can check out more of our videos. Awesome. And don't forget to check out our blog so you can get more recipes and details on how to prepare these delicious meals super fast so your family can eat and not be hangry. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha